What's going on everybody? James Cody here for Artist Relations and today I want to talk to you and show you some cool features about the world's first smart guitar system. It's the High Vibe. Now first and foremost, the cool thing about this device is it can actually be installed in any acoustic guitar you have. One of the ways that I really like to use this is when I go to the beach or I go to the lake, I want to jam with some ideas, mess with some songwriting melodies. I don't need an amplifier. I don't need any effects whatsoever because this high vibe system has all the multi effects I might need. Reverb, chorus, phase, even tremolo. So today I want to show you some cool features on how you can use this device and how I like to use them. The first thing that I see appear on the LED screen is our built-in tuner. So all I have to do is to press this middle button right here and I can start tuning the guitar. Good to go. And to back out of the tuner, all I have to do is press this button again. This takes me back to my main browsing screen. Again, the coolest thing about the High Vibe system is the built-in processing effects. So if I want to access this bank, all I have to do, I'm going to press this button again. And right now, I'm in the off position, so nothing's actually coming through the amplification system on the guitar. So I'm going to click this left button, and then I can start cycling through the various effects that are built in. One of my personal favorites is this nice reverb. It's got a nice lush hall tone to it. Go to my chorus if I want. And one thing I do want to point out that's also extremely cool about the High Vibe is that we have this built-in continuous controller slider. So if I want to play with some of the modulation parameters of the chorus or even the reverb tail on my effects chain, all I have to do is slide this parameter down. If I want a shorter tail on my reverb, if I want a little bit longer of a decay, I can control it right here on the main interface. So again, to back out, to go back to our main browser, all I have to do is hit this middle button and I can cycle through the other various parameters that I have built into the high vibe. So after the effects section, again, one of my other favorite features I like, if I'm at the beach, if I'm coming up with ideas on the spot, I've got this looper option. So if I click the button, I go to my looper, I can record, you know, a few bars. Again, it's pretty cool. Just like that, again, it's great just to be able to capture ideas on the spot. I don't need a smartphone, I don't need a microphone. Everything in the High Vibe does this for me. So if I want to get out of the looper, again, I just hit this main middle button. And then I've got a metronome as well, so I can change the BPM. I've got a built-in speaker too, again, which is really cool if you're working with ideas. You may be even playing in a coffee shop or a really small, intimate environment. You can run tracks directly through the guitar by hooking it up to the built-in Bluetooth speaker. If we actually wanna use the speaker, we do have to use this through a normal Bluetooth pairing device. So on my phone here, if I look through all my different devices, for the high vibe, this is called H1FC800. So all I have to do is click and press it. I see that I'm connected, and I also see the Bluetooth icon immediately appear on the LED screen here. So the last step I need to do, if I click this middle button, the speaker, I'm going to choose on. And all I have to do to choose on is press the right button here on the slider, and I'm good to go. So now, let's just say I've got a track, maybe a voice memo or a backing track or something I want to use in a coffee shop. I'm going to navigate to one of my audio files and just hit play. And just like that, I've got signal coming through the guitar itself through the amplification system. Now, it's really cool too, again, if I don't have an amplifier, 
I've got my onboard output volume. So as I'm playing my sound bite, I can manually adjust how loud I want this track playback to be and vice versa. Again, it's so easy to use, right? So again, I'm coming up with parts. Got some nice effects. I can do whatever I want with my phone and the high vibe. It's that simple. If I want to back out of the speaker itself, all I have to do is click this left slider, turn it off, hit the middle button here, and this takes me back to my main menu. So let me show you how to use the high vibe app on your smartphone, how to download it, and how to install the first firmware update to make sure everything's calibrated. Okay, so the first thing you need to do on the App Store is go to High Vibe and download the app itself. This is what it looks like here. In this case, I've already downloaded this on my phone, so I'm just gonna hit open. And immediately, the first thing I see, I've paired my guitar through the Bluetooth, but I've got this firmware update that I need to go ahead and install so that my guitar, the High Vibe, is up to date and it's fully functional. So when you click on the firmware update, it might take a minute or two to update, but it's not gonna take that long. And right now we're actually going through a time lapse of this download, so you're not having to sit through and wait for this to download as you're watching this tutorial video. Okay, so when the firmware update is finished, we're good to go. I'm just gonna hit okay. And now we see that the high five was disconnected via the Bluetooth connection. And immediately this will go back to my device screen. So in this case, I do see that the high vibe name comes up and I'm just gonna hit pair. I see that I'm connected. I'm gonna back out of this screen and navigate to where I have my high vibe app on my phone. So what's really, really nice about this, I love how intuitive this screen is. It's very just user-friendly and I like the layout of here. So this shows me how much space I actually have left on my high vibe for when I'm storing effects, for all of my loops and all my recordings. This shows me how much battery life I have left as well, which is another good point. We charge the high vibe system with a USB-C port. You actually have up to 10 hours of playtime through this system as well before you need to charge it again. When we look over at the bank section, the first thing I'm seeing here are all of the processing effects that I have on my high vibe. I've got reverb, I have chorus, I have echo slash delay, I've got a phaser, my tremolo effect, distortion, boost, my octaver. And what's really, really cool, let's just say I want to make a custom preset with my first setting of reverb. Well, all I've got to do, I'm going to hit reverb, and I've got these three dots at the very bottom of the name. So from this section, I'm going to choose Modify. And from Modify, this shows me I can actually choose between how my dry and wet blend is. Maybe I want my effect to sound like it's coming through an old church in Italy or somewhere cool like that. And then all I have to do is hit Save. And I might just call this Reverb 2 for now and Save. And just like that, I can navigate back to my preset anytime I want with this drop down arrow. To get back to our other bank, I'm gonna hit this back arrow up here in the top left, and I can do the same thing with my chorus effect, my echo effect, and all the others. I have all of these dots here at the very bottom. I can go in and modify these effects to give me more control as the user how I want these parameters to be set in my system. For more information, go to highvibeguitar.com.